The 4321 rule is a rule that explains how many bonds each element makes. If we take a look at this periodic table, you can see some of the elements have numbers above them. Carbon makes four bonds. Nitrogen makes three bonds. Oxygen makes two bonds. Fluorine makes one bond. And neon makes none. As you can see, this is how many numbers there are. Because it goes four, three, two, one, zero. That is the rule. However, this rule doesn't just apply to the smaller structures, such as this. It also applies to the bigger molecules, such as this cyclohexane molecule. It's made up of carbon and hydrogen. We can check that this follows the rule by counting how many carbon and hydrogens there are. And this is actually something I um point I sort of found with this molecule. If you imagine taking away the hydrogens, it um the carbon sort of make up a honeycomb structure, which I find is quite cool. Um so now if we count how many carbons and hydrogens there are, we'll be able to find out if it follows the rule. So carbons always make four bonds and hydrogens always make one bond. Now we know that, we can check if this follows the rule. Let's pick this carbon. Now we'll count up how many bonds it has. It has one, two, three, four. So this carbon follows the rule. And now we'll have a look at hydrogens. Remember, hydrogens make one bond. Here, this is the hydrogen I'm going to look at, and it has one bond. This molecule follows the rule. Each molecule that I've shown you has a name. This carbon and hydrogen molecule is methane. This nitrogen and hydrogen molecule is ammonia. This fluorine and hydrogen molecule is hydrofluoric acid. This oxygen and hydrogen molecule is water. And this carbon and hydrogen molecule is cyclohexane.